It's that time of year, discipline selections. The time of year where all of us in first year start to pick what kind of engineering we want to do for next year and probably the rest of our degree. Here at Queens, every engineering discipline gives an orientation night to sort of show the first years what they do in that discipline and what kind of jobs they can get and what they'd be doing with the rest of their degree. There were also tours of the buildings and labs. My favorite part were the fourth year student projects. Chemical engineering is one of the broadest of the engineering fields. Core courses in math, chemistry, physics, and biology are combined with engineering principles and focus on chemical process theory. Chemical engineers use what they learn to solve numerous technical problems and to manufacture products safely. Specializations include biochemical, biomedical, environmental, and computer process control. Being able to see the labs and facilities that I would use was really interesting. Engineering chemistry is one of the engineering science programs. It focuses on chemical theory and has a strong base in chemistry. Upper year students can specialize in advanced materials, environmental chemistry, or biosciences. Two things I learned about the program. It is unique to Canada and you are trained as both a scientist and an engineer. So what do engineering chemists do? Well, they provide additional insight and expertise about the chemistry behind the processes. I think one of the most memorable things from the presentations was the fact that the career path of an engineering chemistry grad can take many turns. You can start in mineral processing and end up in environmental protection. There are so many career choices, medical research, biomedical, biochemical, biological engineering, and fiber optic development, and that's just a few things. ECE was awesome. Cool student projects and great presentations. Electrical and computer engineering is one of the fastest growing areas. Wireless and fiber optic communications, robotics, alternative energy, video games, and medical imaging software. What's not exciting about that? The program at Queens is split into two, computer and electrical. Computer engineering involves courses in electronics, digital logic, microprocessors, and hardware and software design. And if you choose electrical, you would be taking circuits, electronics, signals and systems, wireless and optical communications, and robotics. Both programs are cutting edge, offering specializations in computer architecture and computer networks, digital systems, or microprocessor and software systems. Anyways, I gotta go study for my second round of midterms. I'll see you guys next time.